this is Linda Cromar from lindacromar.com. Tonight I'm talking to you about another subject that's kind of close to what we've been talking about in the past. And this is a terrible disease that you really want to avoid. It can be a big killer to your business. Do you know what that disease is? It's called excuse-itis. Now that sounds really awful, but if you think about it, almost everybody has a little bit of it. Everybody gets that sometimes. Do you know what that is? That's when you use excuses to make up for what you don't do, or if you do do something that messes up your business. Now think about it. Excuses never help you in any way. I used to do a lot of that. And you know what, if you think about it, if you're successful and you are doing what's right and you are achieving the results that you want, you have no reason to make excuses. So it's always the people that are failing that are excusing themselves because they think it's going to make them feel better. But I can tell you, it doesn't make you feel better. You just start feeling even worse. So how do you cure yourself from the excuse-itis? By creating some, a list and trying to get, and getting that done every day. By creating a list and getting it done every day. That's pretty easy. Think about that. Make it something that you can actually accomplish. So in other words, don't make it so incredibly long that you just can't possibly achieve it. And be willing to say no once in a while because sometimes you can overdo it. And sometimes you just have to take a break. You know what? It's better to accomplish a few big things or even a few smaller things every day than a great big long 15 or 20 item list. That's what I suggest you think about. And then excuse-itis is a disease you no longer will suffer from. You know what? That's what I have to share with you this evening. And if you want more tips and tricks and help from me, especially using the two-minute story, go to lindacromar.com and let's talk.